is the seventh of 13 Columbia Workshop Festival broadcasts. Tonight, we shall hear a revival of A Drink of Water by Wilbur Daniel Steele, adapted for radio by Max Wiley. Martin Gosh, who directed the original performance, will again direct this evening. A Drink of Water. <laughs> It is about Claire Mayo that we are concerned now. She is a puzzle in ways. No one has ever known her altogether. No one ever can. Deep within, there lives still another part. Uncertain, unexplored. A Claire we shall try to reveal tonight. Occasionally, a gentleman is troubled by a feeling growing on him that Claire isn't where she seems to be, but off somewhere else. It would be wrong to upbraid her for this, Wrong to find anything wanting in the kindness of her smile. For if it's a slow smile, it's a conscientious and unfailing one. As unfailing as the greeting that goes with it. And uh, what can I do for you? That is a part of Claire, but not all of her. But first, there's a place to see. A stretch of sand and ocean that's important to the story. We'll go there now. Huh. Seems pretty lonely, Mary. Yes, too lonely, Ed. I'd go crazy out here. Tell the man. Yes, Mary. Uh, uh, Mr. Kinsman. Uh, yes? My wife thinks this cottage out here is too off by itself. Oh, but I figured from your way of speaking... There's it... plenty of room and air, but heavens out here with these miles of beach and not a soul. And that awful fog home. Only like this when the fog's in. You won't hear it again when the weather clears. Another thing, I'll only be here weekends, and I don't like my wife and child alone without so much as a neighbor in sight. Well, who'd there be away out here to bother a body? Offshore, nothing but Atlantic Ocean. Inshore of you, riddled everywhere with quicksand. Quicksand? No, Ed, no. Uh, I, I guess if you'll show us some other cottages over the village end of the island, Mr. Kinsman. Uh, sure, sure. Wait while I get my wife. Go ahead. We'll wait right here. Plaguey fools. Why don't they know what they want when they start? Darn city folks never know what they want. Annie? Annie, where be you? Get these blankets out there. Put him away, might as well. Mercy. Again, don't tell me. Yep, same as the rest. Plenty of room in air and ocean, they say. Means a crowd of rockers on a porch across the way from a hot dog stand. With them kind, that's what it means. <sighs> I'm afraid we've got a white elephant in this cottage out here in the back shore, Annie. Yep, guess so. Better leave the blankets out anyhow. Might have another party coming in a day or so. Let's see. Where's that letter? Another letter? Hmm. Who is it now? Wants to be alone. Claire Mayo. It's signed Miss Mayo. And look, here she says, Somewhere off by itself. The only thing on earth I'm looking for is isolation. To be alone. Hmm. You wait and see. After a day or so. Isolation, she says. Hmm. Well, if she wants it, we got it. Ladies' hosiery, just over here. Mayo, uh, Miss Mayo will look after you, gentlemen. Mm, she'd never have to look after me, not this blonde I see coming. Oh, Some dame. What can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, listen. We're not gentlemen. Yeah, we're men about town. Can't you see that? If you will give me an idea of the type of stocking you wish. I've got my eyes glued on the only pair I want to see. Uh, Joe, haven't you got something to do? Huh? Oh, me? Yeah. No. I'm sorry, gentlemen. You'll have to excuse me. Obviously, you don't want to buy stockings. Oh, I don't get sore. We were only Miss kidding. Ryan. Oh, Miss Ryan. Yeah? This young lady will wait on you. You call me, Claire? Yes, uh, these gentlemen. Will you wait on them, please? Well, how do you like that? <laughs> Listen, Guinevere, uh, the name is Guinevere, isn't it? <laughs> How'd you guess? I'm psychic. <laughs> Say, uh, what's the matter with your friend Snow White? Uh, can't she take it? Snow White? Yeah, you know Snow White. She just walked out on us. Oh, Claire. Oh, yeah, I ought to know her. I've worked with her for ten years. Yeah? Hey, was she born snooty or has it just come over? Oh, she's all right. Just a little old-fashioned. What's she waiting for, Prince Charming? Yeah, that's it. A Prince Charming riding on a white horse. But I oughtn't talk like this. She's a swell girl and a good friend of mine. The only trouble with Claire... Oh, well. 
What price stockings do you want? 59 or 69? Oh, no, we want real silk. Oh, that's two counters down on your left there. Oh, Miss Edelbaum, she'll take care of you. Thanks. Say so long to Snow White. Oh, Miss Jones. Miss Jones, please. Oh, Mamie, sometimes I get so mad at the way men behave, I could scream. Snap out of it, Claire. Just try kidding them along once and see. That's about all anybody wants in life. That's about all they get anyway. Not me, Mamie. I'll have something better than that or I won't take anything. I'm going to get something else. Something better. Yeah. Not walking this aisle, you won't. I'm not walking this aisle anymore. My vacation starts tomorrow. And when I get back, I'm going into the buying department. For Pete's sake, a buyer doesn't need looks these days. Why don't you stick in ladies' dresses where looks pay? Well, you could have been head model by now. Because I won't be looked at the way they do at models. I'd rather be dead. Claire, you fool, it's the clothes, not you, that the women look at. But the men don't. And I intend to get somewhere, and I won't make any compromise either. I'm not built for it. I'm not, do you hear? You're not built for it is right. You're not built for living or loving or marriage either. You're built for trouble, pushing off every man the way you do. With a right man, that'd be different. You'll never know him when you see him, Claire, waiting through your whole life for your prince and a white horse. You're a fool, Claire. Please, Mamie. Look, Claire, you know what? You you ought to kiss a man sometime. Oh, please. I mean a nice guy. Listen, Claire, this vacation, why don't you go someplace that's exciting? Exciting? It's so exciting I can hardly wait. Yeah? Not a soul for 50 miles, hardly a house, just sand and ocean, miles of it, all to myself, at Nantucket. Nantucket? Uh-huh. I say, that's right across from Martha's Vineyard where I'm going. But I don't see what you mean, Mammy. Mean? I, I mean, I'm going to stop off with you, have a look at this shack of yours, and help you get settled the first day. But I took this place to be alone. Not that I don't appreciate... Stupid, I won't be there long enough to spoil your fun. You'll be alone. <laughs> You'll be alone plenty. But I don't see what you can do to help... Neither do I, but maybe I can dig up a beachcomber for you. You know, those beachcombers... <laughs> Well, miss, now you've seen it, don't make you feel timid, I hope. No, it's just exactly the way you wrote me it was, Mr. Kinsman. Good. What do you think of the place, Mamie? I think it's a dump. Well, I ain't saying it's fancy. No. No, it's just the way I wanted it. In the ocean. I've never seen surf on the open ocean before. And by the way, miss, I make it a rule to warn renters. If they ain't strong swimmers, to be careful. Oh, but I am. One thing I'll never be afraid of, and that's water. I was brought up on the lakes. Lakes, hmm. I just wanted to warn you, though, there's apt to be an undertow certain times of the tide. Uh, to tell you the truth, ladies, I am kind of relieved there's going to be two of you. No, Miss Ryan here, she's leaving this afternoon. Leaving? But there ain't no boat back to the mainland, not after two. But there's a ferry over to Martha's Vineyard at 5.30, isn't there? Yes, ma'am, there is. Mm -hmm. Six miles. Mm -hmm. I'll come back for you. Don't usually do no taxi business. Cost you two dollars if you don't mind. Oh, no, that's okay. Worth two dollars to get away from here, I'd say. What time you call back? Around five. Well, I'll be going now. And my wife, she's unpacked your things up to the bedroom, Miss Mayo, and left out some blankets. Thank you. And here's your groceries. And that there tank, that's water. Uh, for drinking? Drinking and washing, too. Oh. I'll fill her up again a day or two. And I meant to tell you, Miss, that pond you see out back inshore, don't set foot inside the barbed wire that's around it. Why, what's the matter with the pond? Nothing but quicksands. Take you right down through to China. Quicksands? <laughs> oh. Well, thanks for all you've done, Mr. Kinsman. Well, that's all right, Miss. I'll be back around five. Time to catch the boat. Okay. Well, I don't mind saying that I'll be glad to leave here. Why, Mamie, what's the matter? It's just like I told you. Well, it's so much like it, it gives me the creeps. What have you got, I ask you? An undertow on the front end and quicksand on the back. <laughs> to think of spending a night here. Woo. Well, it's my shack and I'm staying in it. Oh, here, let's put these things in the icebox. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Hand me the milk. There. Yeah, and you better put these cans in, too. Oh, yes. There. Now, what do you say for a swim, Mamie? For Pete's sake, I forgot all about it. What with nothing here but the ocean. Where are the suits? Oh, they're upstairs. Uh, here, it's uh, this way. Don't bump your head. No, I won't. Well, now, ain't this some bedroom... Gee whiz, it might be one of them staterooms on the Queen Mary. Except for that hole in the floor there. 
Hey, what in the world are you doing, Claire? Pulling the shade down. Oh, <laughs> you really are the sappiest dame I ever saw. <laughs> Pulling the shade down. <laughs> With nothing to look at your fair body but a couple of sand fleas that don't care anyhow. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, gosh, Claire. <laughs> Better let in a little of God's sunshine and get into your suit, you sap. <laughs> what, what are you staring at? What do you see? Mamie, look, out there on the beach. There is somebody. Sure enough, a real person? But Mr. Kinsman promised me that there wouldn't... You just have to forgive Mr. Kinsman, Claire. Oh, well, the person on the beach is a man and a young one. And from here, I'd say very nice looking, too. Hmm, looks like some sort of a college fella, I'd say. What's he doing? Well, he seems to be walking down the beach. Sure, do you see way down there below him? There's smoke. Some people having a picnic, I bet, and he's just looking for driftwood. Come on, baby, maybe this is your Prince Charming. Oh, no, we can't go out now. It it mightn't be safe. Well, who'd want to be safe with a guy like that? Come on, you dope. Well, all right. Well, Claire, I guess he's gone on down the beach. Oh, no, no, no. Look, he's turned. He's looking back. I'm going to wave to him. You! Mamie, don't be such another fool. See? You see, there he just waved back, and he's gone on down to his picnic and picking up driftwood, just like I said. Mmm, he's got a nice way of walking. A swell figure, too. Well, you forget about him. He's gone, hasn't he? Oh. Oh, isn't it grand here? Nothing but the soft wind blowing on us and the sharp grass stinging your ankles. Warm sand everywhere. I feel like I'd like to spread my arms and fly. Maybe you ought to jump in the ocean and cool off. I'm going in. I'm going in right now. Aren't the waves wonderful? Come on, Mamie. Uh Uh-uh. I'm going to sit down here and watch you. Hey, let's see you take that big one. Oh, Mamie, it's marvelous. Oh, come on, Mamie. Come on out. The water's wonderful. Come on in. Claire? Claire, you're out too far. Are you all right, Claire? Claire, you're out too far. It's darn lucky I heard you. She was about through. <laughs> now, there, see. see. She's breathing better now. Is she going to be all right? Oh, she'll come around in a minute. Just swallow the lad. <laughs> Open your eyes, miss. Uh, miss Mayo, her name is. Open your eyes, Miss Mayo. <laughs> oh. Come on, it's all right now. I think her eyelids are moving a little, see? <laughs> oh, uh, you a friend of hers? Yeah, we work in the same place. Hey, look, she is better, isn't she? Mm. Hey, Claire, it's me, Manny. You're okay, baby. She just took an awful mouthful, though. <laughs> Is it, is it all right now? Sure, it's all right, honey. Come on, open your eyes. Oh, <coughs> oh Mamie, are, are you... Uh, oh, you. You're the man with the driftwood. Yeah, <laughs> and I had to drop it all on the beach. Now you had a close one, all right. Do you feel better? Don't. Stop that. Take your hand off me. Claire, it's all right. He just wants to feel your bow. Take your hands off me. What? Don't touch me. What are you trying to do? What, what do you mean? I was only trying... If you think for a minute that you can... Please, it's all right. Like all the rest of them. Him, too. Every last one of them. Leave me alone. I'm all right now. Holy smoke. I was only trying to see how your pulse was doing. Oh. Oh. I thought... What did you think? Holy smoke. Of all the thankless... Claire, don't talk this way. He came running all the way back. Oh, Oh, wait a minute. Listen, please. I'm sorry. What a sucker I am. You act like you never knew anything but bums. So long, sister. Oh, please. What's the matter with me? Mamie, please don't let him go. I didn't mean it. Please call him back. <laughs> oh, I've, I've been such a fool. <laughs> He's gone now, Claire. Such... That's a terrible way to thank a person. Oh, but you didn't know. You couldn't tell. And you're all right now, and that's all that matters. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mamie. You think... You think he might come back? Yeah, maybe. Maybe will. No, no, no. But you don't deserve it, you sick-headed fool. You... 
Oh, gee, I, I'm sorry, honest kid. I, I didn't really mean to say that. He'll probably come by this way again. No, no, he won't. Uh, listen, honey, you just lie here and take it easy for an hour or so. I'll go up to the shack and get some lunch started. How would you like some hamburger and coffee, huh? You'll be okay with a little coffee. All right. All right, maybe. I'll come up by and by. Just call. That's the girl. You stay here. Won't take me long, kid. Well, back so soon. You feeling all right, Claire? Yes, I'm all right. I'm not very hungry, though. Oh, coffee will be good for you. It'll be boiled in a minute. You just sit down and take it easy. Thanks, Maisie. Thank hello? Hello in there? Now, who do you suppose that would be? Prince Charming? No. It was the other one. He must have followed me here. What other one? An older man. He came by a few minutes after you left. May I go? No. Here, let me go. Just a minute now. I didn't say come in. You stay there. Now, uh, what can I do for you? Go. Oh. Oh, my mistake. You needn't look at me that way. I'm not a tramp, you know. Well, what is it? Well, uh, I've gotten quite thirsty walking. I, I was going to ask for a drink of water, if you could spare it. Oh, well, I don't know. Why, of course he can have a drink of water. we got plenty. Fill that dipper, Claire, and give it to the man. And for Pete's sake, stop being an idiot. All right. Nice place you have in there, what I can see of it. Yeah, it's all right for roughing it. Just a minute. I'll bring it to you out there. Here. Here's your water. Thank you. It's going to taste mighty good. If you'll excuse me, I'll close the door now. Oh, I say. Here, you needn't do that. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. Uh, you have your drink. Uh, just go ahead and leave the dipper there on the back porch. Have my drink indeed. Not in a thousand years if you feel that way. Not in a thousand years. Gee, that was rotten of you, Claire. Why, he wouldn't hurt a flea. No more so than the other one. I'm afraid that I just don't get you at all, Claire. And I'm afraid I'll be glad when it's five o'clock. But it... He tried to pick me up, and then he followed me. You saw him. Followed you? You're crazy. Can't a man get thirsty? Yeah, drink your coffee. No. No, I don't want anything. I'm sorry, Mamie. I'm sorry. I just don't know what's the matter with me. I guess I'll go upstairs and lie down. All right. Maybe a little nap will help you. I'll leave things here on the stove. Thanks, Mamie. You're swell to me. God knows why. Poor fool. Poor darn fool. Poor kid. You all ready, miss? We ain't much time before the ferry leaves. Yeah, I'm all ready. I just want to leave a note for Claire. Leave a note? Is the other lady here? Yeah, but she's taking a nap upstairs. I mm. I thought I'd just beat it and let her sleep. Well, fact is, miss, thought somebody ought to tell her. Tell her what? Going to blow a bad storm by the look of things. Mm -hmm. I was just going to tell her better stay out of the water for a day or two. Oh, well, I guess then I better call her. Hey, Claire! Claire! Huh? Yeah, wake up! What? Well, somebody wants to tell you something. You mean there's somebody down there with you? Yeah, it's Mr. Kinsman. Oh. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll be right down. Say, Mr. Kinsman, if there's a storm coming, the ferry will run just the same, won't it? I mean, I... I don't want to get stuck here. Oh, no, ma'am. We'll make the boat all right. You don't seem to like this kind of living much, miss. Mr. Kinsman, now that you ask me, I think it stinks. Hello, Mamie. Why didn't you wake me before? Hello, Mr. Kinsman. How do you do, miss? You came over to take Mamie? Yes. He wants to tell you about the storm, Claire. It seems they got a storm. A storm? What do you mean? Oh, it ain't nothing to worry none about, miss. Fact is, it may not amount to much. Beginning to fog up some, and I just thought since you came out here to swim and being alone and all that... Oh, that's all right, Mr. Kinsman. I'll be careful. Well, just thought I ought to tell you. Now, miss, if you're all ready... Yeah, I'm ready. Here's my bag. You can put it in the car. I'll be right out. Thank you, miss. And, uh, good night, Miss Claire. 
I mean, uh, Miss Mayo. Good night, Mr. Kinsman. Thank you. I'll be down again day or so to fill up the water tank. There's plenty in her now. Night, Miss. Night. Well, I guess I'm going, player. And uh, I'm taking the last man with me. Uh, here, I left your coffee and a hamburger. Thanks, Mamie. That was sweet of you. Well, the coffee's cold and the hamburger will taste like an inner tube, but you better eat something anyway. Well, I better get going. Mamie, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that I... Forget it. I hate you to go like this. You're a wonderful friend. All I can say is thanks for everything. Uh, for coming out and all. I'll see you back at the store. Well, there's Barnacle Bill. Over the sand dunes with Barnacle Bill. Well, behave yourself, player. I'm sorry I got mad, too. I think you're a swell kid, really. Well, well, I'll see you at the store, Mamie. Yeah. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Sure. So long, kid. Claire is in bed now. Twice she has risen to adjust the window and wants to run downstairs to be sure the doors were bolted. Outside, the surf talks. And in those moments when the wind is down, she feels the gathering presence of an outside force. Perhaps it is the storm personifying, oh. or the voice of moving atmospheres. Oh. Whatever it is, Claire, oh. you no longer feel alone. Daylight oh. is three hours away. More than three if the storm holds. Oh, dear. Why can't I sleep? There is a soft crunch in the wet sand near the water, Claire. You can't hear it. Not yet. But you won't sleep now. Oh. It's nerves you have and a sense of something approaching. Why can't it be morning? Why can't it be morning? Why doesn't morning come? Morning? No, Claire. It's only a few minutes past three. Oh. There is a shuffling in the grass stems oh. now and a movement toward the house. Oh, why did I do this? Why didn't Mamie stay? I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And if you looked out, Look down to the right with the back of the porch. Your nerves are beginning to crack. Did you hear that, Claire? Claire? Claire, don't you hear it yet? Listen. Listen, those are footsteps, Claire. At the back door, do you hear? Do you hear moving across the porch now? Coming closer. Closer. I do. I'm all alone. It's here. It's here. I'll have to go down. He'll break in. Who's there? What do you want? What? What did you say? Who are you? Yeah. Go away. You go away from here. I know you. Yeah. Water! I should say not. Not in a million years. Open that door. Oh, what is this? I know all that. A little drink of water. Yeah. You listen to me, you old thing. I hate you. And all of them like you. I detest and despise you. I wouldn't give you a drink if you were dying in the Sahara. Now you go away. Go on away. Water, please. I know you. I know you now. You go away with that gag about water. You beat it. You hear me? What? Why, he's gone down. He's fallen down, I think. That's what's happening. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> I'm the one who's down. The filthy old drunk. I've got a right to keep myself. I won't be hurt, not by anybody. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Claire, 
does not remember whether she slept any that night. Somehow the hours passed. Somehow morning did come. Oh. What? What's that? Oh, oh, it's morning. Who's there? Oh, it's the front door. Who's there? Who is it? An officer of the Coast Guard. Open the door, ma'am. Oh, it's about that old man. That drunk. All right. I'm coming down. Wait a minute. Hardly awake. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, sorry, lady. Just wanted a little information. Was there somebody here last night? Uh, in the night? Then no. Not that I know of. Hey, Mike, uh, you sure these are his tracks in the sand? Right, Captain. They're continuous, sir. Follow them through the grass right up to the door here. All right, Mike. Stand by. Yes, sir. Now, look here, miss. You say nothing waked you up or bothered you in the night? I... I'm a very sound sleeper. Sound sleeper? The looks of this door, I'll say you are. What's this all about? What's happened? Well, you haven't seen down on the beach there? No. Better come along and have a look. Maybe you can remember something. There was a man here last night, miss. Really? Why, there's a boat down there. What's a rowboat doing ashore here? It's a dory. Come in off the outer banks, I guess. But why here? First land he came to, I suppose, when the fog cut him adrift from a schooner. Oh. Can't tell how many days or weeks he'd been drifting. Uh, I wouldn't look too close, miss. But there's a man lying on the sand there. What's the matter with him? Sea water, ma'am. Salt water. That's the pity of it. He, he's not... He's dead, miss. Oh, no. Dead? Why are you looking at me like that? Why is that dead man making that horrible face at me? Sticking out that black tongue at me? Must he do that? Good Lord, ma'am. You never seen... Thirst? You have been listening to the CBS presentation of A Drink of Water by Wilbur Daniel Steele, the seventh in the current Columbia Workshop Festival Series. Max Wiley made the radio adaptation, and Martin Gosh directed the performance. Tonight's broadcast featured Alice Frost as Claire and Adelaide Klein as Mamie Ryan. Music was composed by Bernard Herman and conducted by Lee Stevens. (laughs) 